Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the module 3 of Python super important questions and in this uh, uh, video we have 6 super important questions from the previous papers and the model question paper. Don't miss any of them and before starting please do like and subscribe. It helps make more videos like this and watch this video till the end. If you solve all these questions you can easily score more than 80% marks from this module and <coughs> Let's get started. The first uh, very important question is illustrate with examples the opening of a file with open function, reading the contents with read function, and writing the files with write function. Okay, so explanation, example code, and the logic all is for four four marks each. Okay, so make sure you uh, do all of that. Okay, first is opening a file with open function. Okay, so to open a file, we'll be using the open function and we'll be specifying how we want to open is it in read mode, write mode, or append mode. Okay, so this is the three modes available. So for example, if you want to open a file, we'll be writing file is equal to open example txt and r so example txt will be opened in the read mode okay if it, the file does not exist the uh, error will be returned okay reading the content of the file with read what we, what we have to do is we have to write file is equal to open example txt r the open function by using the open function will open the file after that in content we will be reading whatever is there and then we can print it also finally we will close the file okay next is writing to a file with write We'll be opening a file. We'll be writing file dot write whatever we want to uh, write like hello world we are passing here. That will be written to output dot txt and then we'll be closing it again. Okay. <clears throat> Next is uh, explain the concept of file path. Also discuss absolute and relative path. Okay, what is file path? File path means that file where it is located in the computer. That path is called as file path. Okay, so the definition is it is a way to locate our files under which directory it exists. Okay, so example will be like uh, by using backslash or the front slash. Both are valid in different types of operating system. This is the uh, Windows operating system and this is Mac operating system. In this case, uh, I mean the forward slash will be in Mac operating system. In the backslash will be in the uh, Windows operating system. You have tried one example in this uh, particular way here and uh, what is absolute path absolute path means it will be having a path from the start from the C till the end okay that is a absolute path so this is an example from the root to the file okay what is a relative path relative path means from where we are present where we have to go okay for example if you are present inside the folder xyz okay and inside xyz there is a folder one there is a folder two there is a folder three if i want to go to folder two from this path i want to go to folder two i'll not uh, take the path from the c and users and xyz then two not like that i'll take xyz i'm there slash two that's all slash two only i will be provided for example it, if it is abc abc my prog y from abc go to my prog y that's all okay where you are currently present open a file under that folder okay so the, it will be in the read mode this past year that this type of uh, uh, specification is called as relative uh, path okay next is briefly explain the saving variables using shelf module very important question we can save the variables in python program using the uh, shelf module okay shelf module means what imagine like a shelf okay whatever variables we want to store that will be stored in a shelf later when we want we can take it and while storing it will be naming it for example we will be naming this as my cat and whenever we come next time i'll i want to have all the variables which i have saved in my cat so i'll be using the shelf module to get my cat and i'll be able to access all the variables which i had stored previously okay so for that you have to write these two lines of code import shelf and shelf dot open my data whatever the uh, i had stored previously in my data that will be able to open and in shelf file all those data will be present okay we go to the next super important question we have like, discuss any five string methods explain the following string method with example okay if they ask you five string method you can write any five but it is better to remember these five these are the most simple ones okay so in case they gave you the <coughs> method you can uh, take it from here only and explain first is is alpha is alpha means is alphabet it returns true if the string contains only letters only letters it should contain okay so for example hello is present here and i uh, write dot is alpha is only letters present here yes so it will be true next hello one two three dot alpha uh, is alpha here only letters are present yes letters are present but along with that numbers are also present so it will be returning false okay next is is all num all num means it is uh, returning true if it contains letters and numbers no space or symbol should be included only letters and numbers so hello one two three is dot is all num is true hello space one two three dot is all num is false because there is a space in between that is not allowed so is all num will return it uh, accordingly okay next is is decimal if decimal is included it will return true else it will return false this is a decimal it will return as true because it is having the digits from 1 to 9 if there is a point in between that will return as false we just need to have the uh, decimal digits which is 0 to 9 okay decimal value will be rejected next is is space if it contains white space it will be uh, returning true if it does not contain white space it will be returning 
uh, false okay it should only contain white space for example it if it was he space llo this will also return false why because there are letters also only white space should be there okay next is title is title means if the first word is starting from uppercase it will return as true hello world is starting from uppercase it will return true hello world here is starting from a lowercase it will return false okay Moving on to the next super important question, we have explained the following methods with suitable examples and <clears throat> the functions are upper lower is upper and is lower. Very simple functions. The upper function converts all the characters to upper space. So, so for example, if you have text here and hello is the thing which is stored in text, all are lower cases. And if we write uh, print text dot upper, whatever is the letters here that will become capital letters. So the output will be capital hello. Okay. Lower means whatever the text is there, it will convert all to lower characters. So text dot lower will become hello in the small letters. Okay. Next is is upper. It is checking. Okay. It will return true or false. If text is hello and we check if text is upper means if all the characters are upper then only it will return true if it was like h e l l o okay all the capital here except e in this case if we write text dot is upper it will return as false okay that is the difference next is is lower it checks if all the characters are lowercase it will return true else if any of them is uppercase it will return as false okay <clears throat> that was about the uh, upper and lower functions. Moving on to the sixth super important question, we have developed a program to sort the content of a text file and with the sorted contents into a separate text file. Okay, one text file is there, it has the content, we have to sort it and we have to put it in a different file. Okay, use strip, lin, and list methods, sort, append, file methods to open, read, line, and write functions. All these functions can be used. The whole program is for 10 marks. Okay, so the following program reads the content of an existing file, sorts the lines in alphabetical order, and then writes the content into a new text file. Okay, so three steps are there first is open the file which is to be read next is read the file file dot read lines lines next is sort the lines lines is equal to lines dot strip for lines in lines lines dot strip will remove all the spaces okay then lines dot sort will happen it will be sorted according to the alphabet which letter is starting from the a that will be first then b then c whatever is in the alphabetical order that order it will be stored all the lines which are present in the input text then after that in the lines it will be stored and we have to write that in a separate file so we'll open a separate file sorted output.txt in the write function and then we'll take a for loop and in lines all the data is present and we'll be taking each line one by one and writing it to the uh, file which is open here okay sorted output.txt as file is open so file dot write will write it into the new file okay once that is written and then we'll be printing it or whatever we want we can do with that okay so basically we read an input file process the lines and sort the lines and write the output message write the uh, content into a new file and then output the confirmation message okay so this is all from the module uh, 3 of python and please do like and subscribe it has been just like this don't miss any of this question these are the super important ones and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one